Coming up next, it is a featherweight matchup between Conor McGregor and Hanato Moicano. Well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC. And I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level. From the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Well, the stars have aligned, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two-division champion, Conor McGregor, as such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare-down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the build-up when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 15 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia Distrito Federal, Brazil, Renato Moicano Canero! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, Two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Right, it is the UFC's unofficial home base team over the arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and 18,000 plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC line. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night in a fantastic arena. T-Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. <laughs> nice punch there by McGregor. Real nice body kick landed. Partially blocked. Hands up. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Back to the feet. Moicano gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh! He's out! He got it! Oh, oh. Yes, sir, it goes into the books as a 
first round win by knockout, near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit. Those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Danberg Liotta is going to stop to this contest at 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out there. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times he hoped for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.